Alright, hello YouTube. Adam here again. It's been a while since I've done any computing stuff. I've been in the middle of moving. Things have been kind of chaotic. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at this Dell Latitude 2120 that I picked up for really cheap. It was less than $50 shipped. Um, it has an Atom processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM. I think the Atom's like a N455 or something. I'd, we'll look when we get the system up and running. But uh, I've been using it for a few days now. Uh, it has Windows 10 Professional on it. It runs pretty well, but um, it, it you know it's an Atom processor and a netbook from a few years ago, so it's not like it's super speedy. Uh, I can do a lot of basic things with it and all that. But I wanted to uh, put in an old SSD that I have lying around. It's a 64 gigabyte Samsung. Uh, I've, it, it, the, the way that it works basically is I've been paying attention to the task manager and the CPU is maxed out a lot of the time but a lot of the time when the CPU is not maxed out the disk is maxed out because it has a regular uh, SATA laptop hard drive in it and uh, since we don't have much of a processor in it getting information to the CPU as quickly and efficiently as possible is going to be important so that it's not really wasting cycles sitting around waiting for the disk drive to tell it what to do. Um, I have this for a specific project that is going to be done in the future. I might buy a second one of these and put a uh, PC BSD on it because it would be an awesome little travel thing actually. It's really lightweight. Um, take a look at the bottom. It's got reasonable battery life. Um, this particular one, uh, the rubber coating on it is in good condition still. It's I went online and looked at how you have to take these apart, and it's a lot more involved than replacing a hard drive on like a higher end latitude model, like the 6000 series and stuff. So uh, it's not that bad. But um, while I'm talking here, let's go ahead and see if we can get it to start up here, just so we can have a little bit of a frame of reference of what the difference will be. I did do a clean install of Windows 10 on this when I got it, like I always do when I get a machine. Um, I don't know, you know, the eBay seller allegedly uh, reinstalled to factory defaults and stuff, but you don't know if there's malware or something before something odd goes on my network. I always uh, take a moment to clear the, uh, you know, to clear the OS. So I'm going to enter my password here. And it'll be All just right, a so we're uh, signing in. You saw it booted up pretty darn quick there. This is with the mechanical drive still, so it's not too terrible. Um, it's gonna really chug uh, the. Uh, I had to do a Windows update for it to bring it up to version uh, 1703, and that took probably eight hours. It was pretty bad. Um, but uh, like I was saying about putting BSD on this, everything in it is an Intel component, which is good. It, it even uses Intel Wi-Fi, so the support in BSD should be good. Uh, it shouldn't have any problems with drivers or any of that sort of thing. Um, I have, of course, Chrome and all that on here, and it's, let's bring up, if we can here, see, it's even thinking about this, uh, it kind of does that old Windows XP thing, I, I'm not used to using machines with mechanical hard drives that are newer, not that this is particularly new, but uh, I'm not used to using mechanical hard drives anymore, it's, it's kind of amazing the difference that in performance that you get. Alright, so... As you see, the CPU is maxed out right now. The disk is at 73. It's going to go up to 100% or so, probably. And as it does that, the CPU drops down. So we're kind of in, in, in equilibrium with the, uh, the system here, where the, the disk holds back the CPU sometimes, the CPU holds back the disk at other times. So uh, I'm going to, even though this is an old SSD, it's going to be way better than what the mechanical spinning rust that's in there now is. So... Let's shut her down, if we can. Oh god, it's still ha I haven't put classic shell on here yet. That's not helping either, like having all these news widgets and stuff going here, downloading stuff, weather and what have you. I I'm sure that is not helping performance in any way. Oh god, here we go, shut down. I know you can delete individual widgets and, and what have you, but... Better just use Classic Shell. I like it a lot better. All right. Are you done? No, your disk is still churning away there. Come on, little guy. You can do it. 
this thing feels like a toy almost, like, but not in a bad way. The quality is really good. It's just like the, the trackpad and everything on it is so small. It feels, I don't know how many of you have ever learned the firearms or anything. If you ever use like a, a DB 380 or any of those like pocket pistols, they feel like, you know, it's like a real gun, but it's so tiny. It feels like it's a, I don't know, like one of a shrink gray machine or something. So I guess in order to do this, we have these four screws here that we have to contend with. And that screwdriver is too big, which is too bad because that's my magnetic one. But I have this kind of chintzy backup one here, which is kind of vaguely magnetic. So we pull these four Come on. There we go. We pull these four uh, corners out. And I am going to just end up doing another clean install rather than cloning this drive or anything. Uh, it just it doesn't have anything particularly on it. It seems like it's better to just start from scratch with that. And now that we have those out, there are a couple of screws in the battery compartment here. That one seems like it's just not coming. I mean, it, it loosened, but it's staying down in its little hidey hole. Yeah, that one is safe. Let's see if we can... Well, I guess they're happy where they are. We'll just keep an eye out if they come flying out. So we have to pry the keyboard off, which this part seems like it's going to be a little bit on the, uh, the less pleasant side. I'm not sure if this is quite narrow enough to get under there. Being careful not to get on any of the keycaps here, because I'd rather not rip one of those off. Alright, I ended up just using a Mora knife, which isn't probably the best thing because it's sharp and pokey, and it's definitely uh, not a non-mooring uh, item there, but it just didn't really do anything. So, let's pull this little ribbon cable off, set that aside, and we have an adventure. I wonder if those screws came out yet. No, they didn't. Uh, we have an adventure with a couple more screws here. I really like the the higher end machines a lot better because there's pretty much one screw you undo and you get access to the memory, you get access to the hard disk. Much more pleasant. But at this point, we should be in. Trying to be gentle here. Plastic clips and all. It's not exactly the uh, strongest thing in the world, but. We succeeded. Here's our nasty mechanical drive that we're going to get rid of. Uh, looks like this could be equipped with a uh, wireless uh, cellular and it is not upgradable past the two gigabytes that it comes with. It only has the one uh, sodium slot and that's pretty much it. There's our Wi-Fi, CPU, CPU cooler. It's not really dusty or anything in here so I don't really need to worry about blowing anything out. So, let's take a look at how this drive caddy is mounted. It looks like there's a screw maybe in each corner. And get these wires out of the way here. Come on, little drive. There we go. So I got the drive and the caddy out. I'm going to go ahead and swap over the other drive and we'll reinsert the uh, hard disks. Well, SSD. Alright, so I'm uh, reinstalling the drive here. I'm not really going to show the reassembly process because it's just the opposite of what we did there. There's a weird little tab there. Sometimes these are kind of tricky to get lined up, but we're good to go. So it should be all set up. Grab my screws and put this back in, and I will meet you probably at the BIOS screen. Just make sure this gets recognized, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, so uh, I got it, I believe, put back together. I'm going to go ahead and see if she'll ride again. There's still plastic clicking back together, but it's all pretty much where it should be. See if we destroyed it. There's probably already a version of Windows 10 on this drive. I have no idea 
Windows Server. Yeah, I don't know why I was doing experimenting with that. But we're not going to run Windows Server, obviously, on this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, little USB drive going here and get this thing up and running. We'll take a look at the difference when we uh, come back. Oh, yeah, I also wanted to just... This is an, this is an iPad Retina, one of the older ones. It's it's This netbook thing is it's so tiny. It's weird. Uh, also, I didn't really take a look at the ports when I was... Uh, reviewing this earlier. Uh, we have an, a real Ethernet port which is an Intel NIC which is nice. Two um, USB on this side, VGA, USB, microphone, headphone on this side and there is nothing on the back. It looks like it's updating the display driver. Uh, there is nothing on the back. This is weird plastic thing. Uh, I do think I am gonna order at least one more, maybe two more of these because they're so cheap. I think I'm gonna, this machine has a specific purpose that I'm gonna put it to which will be in a future video in the next couple months. Uh, I think I might get one of these just as a VPN uh, machine that's gonna be specifically, I don't really want all my traffic going through a VPN here because it slows it down and I don't want everything to think I'm in a different country but there are certain services I use that I would like to anonymize a little bit. Uh, also uh, I think I am going to probably get a BSD one of uh, the one to put free uh, PC BSD on it. It should work. I'd, sound drivers are always iffy. But it's real tech. It's like the most generic sound driver in the world, so it probably works in PC BSD. But sound is always an issue in Linux and in. Uh, well, you can see this isn't going to go exactly at blistering speed, but it is starting to install. I'm just going to leave it for however long that takes. Uh, the hard drive here the, is a Seagate Momentous Thin 250GB hard drive. It was manufactured in August of 2012, so I'm sure this is original to the machine. Alright, so Windows completed the installation. It was weird because it's the first time I've done the newer version of the installation of Windows 10. Cortana talks during the setup part. It's, uh, it's kind of odd. I didn't record it because it's just that, but uh, you can see OneDrive is updating, there's all kinds of crap downloading and updating. The disk usage, however, is down to almost nothing. Uh, we're using 52% of the memory. The CPU is at 99% utilization. This is what I wanted. Like uh, The bottleneck on this machine now is the CPU. It's as good as it's going to be. So it's I, I wish OneDrive would not do its thing, I don't use it, uh, I I would like to just turn it off, but it always reactivates itself too every time there's a Windows update. Alright, as you can see here, we're still maxing out the CPU, but the disk is doing pretty good, it's at like 24, 21%, so uh, CPU is the only thing binding us at this point, I'm running Windows Update, getting everything, I did not mean to do that, everything, uh, finished up there having my dinner no I am not sponsored by Domino's but I am not proud if Domino's wants to sponsor me I love it look at that barbecue chicken pizza that oh they did a good job this time Domino's anyway uh, I'm gonna let this run its update and enjoy another slice of that pizza and uh, we'll see what we can actually get this thing to do in terms of if you can play YouTube or anything like that it's gonna be a little bit dicey like the the CPU is basically always at 100% usage almost. It's at 90% right now, so not quite 100, but it's uh, it's got a touch and go. This isn't much of a CPU. All right, so uh, everything is configured and set up here. I have the remote desktop app on my iPad up. You can see uh, getting the backup done here. It, it's actually, like I've been meaning to use my iPad as like a thin client. It's really nice. Um, I should install a virtual machine version of Windows and that way I have a real computer. Um, the machine itself is, like I said, it's just doing its backup. It's kind of toasty. It's been at this for a while. It's kind of not the fastest uh, Wi-Fi connection on this machine. Um, let's go ahead and, if I may, I'm sure the CPU is probably still being fully utilized pretty much just constant on this machine forever and always well eighty percent so it's not the worst uh... the system 
that is yeah there we go yeah we have uh, Windows 10 all up and running it's joined my domain and it's all activated and stuff the display resolution on these is not very good uh, 1024 by 600 sorry I don't have the tripod set up but it's kinda easier to work with this right now and then finally there's something I wanted to do. that was not what I wanted to do uh, there's something I wanted to check in device manager still you can see if you, you start doing multiple things you run into trouble but this is going to be used as part of a project that I have coming up. I'm going to mess around with some MIDI stuff in the future. And I wanted a light power, light, uh, a quiet machine um, for that. And this should fit the bill, I hope, well enough. Uh, I think I already looked at the display adapter. It lo looks like we have our... It's a 470 series SSD. So that's pretty darn old. Uh, I guess the last thing to try, which is probably going to go badly considering that the CPU is pegged at 100% pretty much right now is we should probably try to load some sort of YouTube video uh, like I said I have a feeling I tried this earlier when I was messing around I'm not gonna lie and uh, video playback is a little bit on the uh, the terrible side but uh, this is not signed into my own YouTube or anything so let's just search for Something that I know I was just watching earlier that is in 1080p. Really? The search results aren't gonna. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, oh! Uh, this machine in the Web 2.0. HTML5 animate everything world, they're not really uh, very good friends. Which a lot of machines, like even on a nice machine, it's kind of sickening how much processor cycle ends up getting wasted just on stupid things to annoy you. So you can see here, uh, if we leave it minimized, you know, we don't try to go full screen. I think this is running a. What is this? Oh god, if I, if I query it, it's gonna. So this is 480p. What happens if we full screen? Oh boy. Here we maybe hold together. Let's see see what happens. Can it catch back up? Kind of playing back at 480p, 720 not gonna happen so uh, definitely not a multimedia machine that's not what this was intended for I think these were used a lot in schools this particular one is from a business uh, like the, the, I don't know if they were even available in uh, like consumer channels at all I think it pretty much had to be like volume orders but uh, the only disappointment I really have is like on the back here um, it's just the battery there is no docking solution for this, which is kind of disappointing, but considering the value nature of this machine, not entirely surprising. But uh, I think that's pretty much going to wrap things up. I'm going to let this just finish its backup. Uh, this machine will be making another appearance again, uh, hopefully with a, another project. I don't know exactly when, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.